Hello, Wharton County Junior College History faculty. My name is Emily Taylor and I am your new Cengage Learning representative. I would like to give you a brief demonstration on MindTap, the digital component that comes with our history titles. What is MindTap? MindTap is a personalized teaching experience with relevant assignments that guide students to analyze and apply, thus improving thinking, all while allowing you to measure skills and outcomes with ease. I'd like to begin by taking you to the learning path, as that is the place that students will see upon entering MindTap. And we are in the Enduring Vision. As you can see, the learning path is composed of chapters. Within each chapter is a series of activities or readings. The chapter activities are designed to follow Bloom's taxonomy. So in the beginning, it's going to be more recalling and understanding. And as you progress through the, through the chapter, the activities will encompass more analyzing, evaluating, inferring, and applying. Within this chapter, we have the readings, flashcards, video activities, interactive quizzes, and, problem, and primary sources that come with problem sets. MindTap is completely customizable and of the many ways to personalize and easily set your course is an add an activity right here into the chapter or the learning path or you can actually add these activities embedded in the text itself. You can add flashcards, RSS feeds, YouTube videos, homework assignments, Applia problem sets, web links, or your own personal content that you already have. You can add any kind of document using Google Drive, or you can use Kaltura to add videos, images that you might have from those cool historical places you've been to. And if you don't happen to have anything that you want to share, you can capture videos and, uh, and audio and images right here in Kaltura and upload it to your MindTap course. I actually personalized this chapter with a little video message. Sending a personal message at the beginning of the chapter is a great way to get students excited about learning. So MindTap provides multiple ways to personalize and customize and easily set your course to engage your students. But it also focuses on elevating student thinking. And I'm going to show you an example uh, with this primary source module that comes with problem sets. And it's important to note that before each source is actually read, students are provided background information on the actual source and let's go to Mary Chestnut's diary. They provided background information on the actual source, plus additional information to help them understand the context of, and the perspective of where the source is coming from. So that would be found in this historical context box, and then here's the background information. And then as you can see, here's an excerpt from the diary. And then here are the problem sets that go with it. And I purposefully got these questions wrong so I can show you what students will see when they get an answer wrong. A very detailed explanation. Also, I want to point out that when a student wants to retake and resubmit as they do get up to three times and they try another version, there will be different problem sets, but as you can see, the excerpt and the information remain the same. They're just getting a new way of thinking about the, the resource. And these problem sets are designed to, be, to really make students infer and apply and analyze. This is where students' thinking is really elevated. So I hope you can see so far that MindTap does a great job of providing ways to actually get students engaged in thinking. But how do you know they are, they are actually engaging? You can see on the right hand side are these Mind apps. And this app, the Progress app, helps us to promote better outcomes because it shows us exactly um, 
the student's engagement level. So right here it provides us with three tabs, overview, analytics, and gradebook. An overview is simply that, an overview of the assignments broken down. The gradebook will just show you the grades, and the analytics tab is a robust screen that shows you at a glance where your class is. We have low engagement, moderate engagement, and high engagement. You have the class average and the percentage of activities excess. You also have the time in course and the number of logins. And if you want to see just this student, you can click on a student progress dot and it takes you to their individual page, their score, their engagement level, their time in the course, and their number of logins. This information is uh, helpful if you ever have to report time students are spending in the class. And this is great because the students can see their score compared to the class average on their progress app from their view in MindTap. So that gives them some accountability and perspective of where they stand in the class. I hope you're liking some of the features that I've showed thus far. And a question remains, are all your students going to like it? And I believe so. I actually had the opportunity to visit with some Wharton County students and I show them MindTap. I show them all of the apps that would they would really like, like the Webster Dictionary, the Search Bar, the Full Text, the Glossary, the Read Speaker, which allows for full audio of the entire book, Flashcards, and Connect Yard, and also the highlighting and note-taking and bookmarking capabilities. I surveyed them and I collected their surveys and I have to say they were very pleased and very impressed with MindTap and really wanted it right away for their classes. Down here Catherine May says, I think such a tool will keep my 4.0 GPA strong. That's valuable information because Cengage Learning actually has white papers, research-based papers indicating how valuable MindTap truly is for the lesser engaged students but to know that MindTap can also reach the more advanced students and can still be engaging, that lets you know that no student is going to fall through the crack. I've only shown a few tidbits with MindTap, but I do want you to know that first and foremost, it is, can easily be set up, it promotes better outcomes, and it can elevate student thinking. Over the summer, I did email you um, the list of titles that I sent to each of you and I hope you've had a chance to review and I would very much like to know what you think. Um, MindTap is available with all of these titles. I would like to come to campus and meet with all of you or a few of you and show you a full MindTap demonstration. I have September 24th marked on my calendar. I would love the chance to get to meet you and truly show you, have the opportunity to show you what MindTap can do for your students. Um, I look forward to hearing from you and I hope y'all have a great day. Thank you.